Hey everyone, today we will be creating a social lower thirds in GIMP. So I have a 1280 by 720 pixel canvas open in GIMP, and I've put a photo in the background to symbolize a video. So I'm going to go up to the rectangle tool, and I'm going to double click, and for my lower thirds, I want to have rounded corners, so I'm going to keep this selected. If you do not, and you just want regular straight corners, you can deselect this. So I'm going to drag out a rectangle where I want my lower thirds to be. And then I'm going to take my bucket tool and select a color that I want for this main rectangle. So I'm going to click and choose this blue. And then I'm going to create a new layer so I can fill that blue color onto the new layer. And I'm going to go up to select none. So I want to add a, another smaller rectangle underneath this one. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool again, and I'm going to click and drag out another rectangle underneath this one. And then I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to fill this one with a different color, and I think I'm going to choose white. So I'm going to fill that in and go to select none. And now we can add the text and images that we want to include in our lower thirds. So I'm going to make mine simple and just type out subscribe. And then I can go in here and change the font. I also want to customize this more on the top. So I'm going to add my Guru Gal logo. And then I'm going to bring this down here and make it a little bit smaller. And try to move that to where I want over here. And you can add your logo if it's in a circle or square right here or have no logo at all. And then in this white portion, I want to add where you can follow me on other social media. So I'll just drag out a text box and type out. So then I'm going to make that smaller so it fits and doesn't clash with the subscribe. I also want to add an Instagram logo here. And maybe if this name also applies for your Facebook page or Twitter, you could also add their logos down here. So I'm going to go and find an Instagram logo. I'll choose this first one. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. I'm going to add a new layer so I can see it. And then I am going to resize it so it will fit in that white space. And there we go. Now we have a simple lower thirds. But we don't want to save it with this whole background and a canvas this big. So what we can do is take our rectangle tool I'm going to take the rounded corners tick off, and I'm going to select as close as I can while including everything of this lower thirds. And I'm going to go up to image and fit canvas to selection. And then I'm going to hide this image layer and also this black overlay I had. So now we have a simple and contained file for our lower thirds that we can edit. So now I'm going to go up to select none, and then we can go up to file, export. And we want to make sure that we export it as a PNG so it keeps that transparent background. Okay, so now how do we put this into our video file? So I use Premiere. You may use a different video editing software. So I'm going to add this lower thirds by searching for it. And then just dragging it into this project. And you can see it's a lot smaller than our project because we saved it smaller. So we can change the scale here. And then I want to change the position to where we designed it. So now we have a lower thirds so that we can animate. And I will just do it by changing the opacity. So I'm going to make sure this time is toggled. And I'm going to choose 0%. And then make sure it's at the beginning of my project. And then move the scrubber over a little bit. And then change this time or change this opacity to 100%. So now we can see when I play this, it animates right in. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please like and subscribe, it really helps. Be sure to check out our brand new site where we upload courses covering a variety of subjects, gurugalaxy.com. Thank you so much for watching.